This is our launch text for Unit 3, and it is entitled, At the Crossroads. This story will help us to address the essential question of what can cause a sudden change in someone's life. This selection is an example of an explanatory text, a type of writing in which the author shares detailed information about a topic or process. This is the type of writing you will develop in the performance-based assessment at the end of the unit. As we read, notice that the author presents facts without offering opinions or arguments. In April of 2012, 25-year-old Nick Kleckner was working as an electrician and cab driver in Northern California. And then, suddenly, he found himself at a crossroads. He left it all, his job, his family, his friends, and bought a one-way plane ticket to Jacksonville, Florida. He had a bold plan in mind. He was going to walk to California with virtually nothing on his back. He hoped the journey would change his life, but he had no idea how. Nick, who was not exactly prepared, had nothing in the way of survival skills, so he planned to survive on the goodness of the people he met on the road. Using the handle Hobo Nick, Nick began his journey on April 5th, leaving Jacksonville with a backpack, a sleeping bag, and a travel kit. He also had an iPod and the ability to receive internet service. Throughout the journey, he would document his experience in minute detail and send daily updates to his mother, who'd post them on his blog. The question is, why? What would make someone take off like that? Nick had a comfortable life. He had a good income, a house, a new car, and a new motorcycle. He was moving forward with his life. By society's standards, he should have been happy. But he wasn't. Nick was in a rut. His life felt repetitive and boring. It lacked a higher purpose. He felt he wasn't growing as a person. He had things, but didn't appreciate them. It got to the point where I couldn't deal with everything anymore, Nick said later. I felt a lot of pressure, stress, and anxiety, and decided to get out. As Hobo Nick, he trekked across miles of scorched desert and endured nights of pounding rain. In cities and towns, he slept out on the street, where he knew that there were people to help him out. Even with help, it was a hard journey. Nick would sometimes go days without food or search dumpsters for something to eat. But whenever he felt that he had more than he needed, he decided to pay it forward by giving it to other folks he encountered on his way. Paying it forward was one of Nick's goals on his journey, giving more than he received. If he was offered money or a gift card he didn't need, he gave it away to people who did. He was surprised at people's generosity along the way. There was a time in Mississippi when the cars actually pulled over to the side of the road to check on him and give him money. The experience taught him a valuable lesson. If you share what you have and help others as much as possible, you will never be stranded. In his blog, Nick chronicled the important changes brought about by his selfless lifestyle and rejection of material things. He has learned to live in the moment and to be thankful for everything he has. On September 29th, after an epic 2,500 mile walk across the North American continent, Nick managed to make it all the way to Huntington Beach, California. More than a hundred family members, friends, and well-wishers were waiting for him. During the six months of his journey, he destroyed five pairs of shoes and lost about 55 pounds. In the future, Nick plans to do another cross-country trip. The point is always to give more than you take, he says, adding that the biggest takeaway from this experience is to have realized that mankind is better than I ever dreamed.